the history, obviously, uh, with Jin and T1. None of it good. <laughs> and it is also a really big pivot away. I think the laning strength is the only similarity, but outside of that, not really going to be case. Figures it out, but the timing window might just be there. It's perfect for the setup. Three, six, now nine. they know! Total control of the lane, but just now sees Owner. Owner mounting up on the way in, looking to lock him up and take him out. 369 still standing for now. Will he burn the flash or just accept his fate? Trying instead to turn and burn on Zayat to get a little bit more health damage. Just accepts his fate. First blood for the side of no, T1. one is going to try and aggressively stack dragons. But they won't have the opportunity. We do see Knight already here. Doesn't look like T1 is going to be able to contest the street. Hey, going for the solo Bolo, and he just gets the kill! What? That is, that is not a Comet diff right there. That's a Zeus diff. God of Lightning, God of the top lane. He lays it down in three. Can't go for that play, right? He, he will be able to easily survive as... Ruler ignited two fights, one in the bottom lane, one in the mid lane. Faker burning the Shockwave just to get away from Knight. Now the curtain call coming out, Ruler. Gonna sidestep one, slowed by the second, looking for one more, but missing there just in time to deny the kill. Guma four shot now pushing in. Jin notoriously bad at pushing these towers. Probably not gonna be able to grab a plate there, but Ruler's so low, maybe they can get it done. Is owner still controlling? Total control on the top side from T1. Mid lane matchup Guma? getting a bit closer. Guma playing very strong. Getting low. But opted for lethality. He's still relatively squishy, all things considered. Zayas still stepping forward to the Infernal Chain, looking for the lockup. Tempered Fate now coming in, isolating Knight. Knight right in the back line, and Owner immediately with the follow-up engage. Zayas still standing. Now finally the buy is going in, but it might just be too little too late. Knight, oh, fancy V to the back of the fight. Burn. Zayas ticking, burning, but the shutdown is 3 six, 9 But now they're just fish caught in the barrel, waiting on the slaughter of the curtain call. T1 stepping in and dominating the Herald. Backs away. Maybe suspects the play from Kanavi. Charge forward, lock up. Ulti used in the previous fight. 369 still burning him down. Zayas running for the hills, the rumble, Boom. and the buy. Get it done. Also 2K in their favor. Ariel. They're not willing Dragon. to give up this drink for free. Owner into the pit, and he will steal it right out of Kanavi's hands. Curtain call over the wall. There is nowhere for that buy to go. Guma now on a killing spree, missing running for his life. Locked up into the wall. Equalizer used just to keep the support alive. T1 make it look effortless there. They just come in, yoink, thank you so much for the dragon. Owner steals it away, and they also get oh the... No. Never mind, Owner. he gets a freebie back. Staying a bit too long, stun now coming through. 369, careful not to overheat too quickly. Continuing to walk forward, making sure now he has the flames, but to try to bring it back. Shockwave there, carry not quite able to connect. Maybe they have the damage, Faker's gonna be in trouble missing now, pushing him back, trying to sacrifice. Oh. 369 burns down to the ignite of Caria, missing, killed as well. And every... Like we said in Champ Select, there's no pure big tank on the enemy team. Temper fate stack there. A bunch of armor. Should be an easy fall up. Now Caria taking his time, waiting for the wall to try to line it up. He doesn't even need to! Zayas! After they get the kill on top side, they immediately shift everybody up towards this mid lane. Zayas is able to get the tower by himself. On bottom, in the tri brush. Harold already utilized. Gonna create some pressure, gonna break open mid lane at the very least. T1 already pulling ahead in the play. If they can get the Drake as well, it's everything. Owner waiting in the darkness. JDG, this is such a tough angle to fight from. Continuing to stay around, continuing to stick around, willing to give up so many resources. The crash in mid lane already happened from the Herald. The tower slowly but surely crashing. Or rather breaking down now as Dragon still aggroed here. Carrier playing on the edge. Ruler going through the portal. Feathers fly, but to little effect as JDG just have to run the pullback over the wall. Now they're just trying to isolate and take out Zeus. Big golden that... flux for the side of JDG. Can they take the fall of the fight? Already the equalizer burned. Carrier running through the magical journey. Everybody trying to get up, but Owner will be denied. Owner cannot find the escape, but it doesn't matter because T1 are there in time. Missing trying to fire back. Gumi Yushi out of ammo, desperately trying to reload, but here comes the Kunai. Here comes Knight to flash away to safety. Three shots left in the barrel. Manages to lock him down. Play on the edge, missing as he stepped. Faker's into coming! Bar. Faker on the flank. No shockwave. A lot of help. Has to play careful here. Knight, no ultimate. Needs to make his way out of this one. The lockup there from Guma from so far away. Oh, no. Owner coming in. The pullback on the missing. Trying not to stick around for too long. One taken down already. Knight now going in, trying oh. to turn it back. Guma says not to death. E from Knight. That is lethal. He's able to avoid this, and then Faker's able to chase them down. The W coming through from the Jin as well to root up Knight. In so many positions, they might just not have enough damage to finish off these priority targets. Carrier going in. Lineup not quite there, but the captive audience now coming through. Missing, trying to back up. Shockwave pulling back just to kill the Alistair, but they get the tier two as well. 
the range on this composition, baby. Look at those picks for T1. The cow is down, and they're going to get a free bottom tower. Look at the minimap. Zeus free to split push to his heart's content. The last outer tower. The defense is here for JDG crumbling. Carry a perfect predict on the shuriken flip means the lockup is there on a night. He goes into the shroud. Kanabi ready to give his life to protect his mid laner. They're now going into the back line straight on Guma. Locked up with a temper fake. Doesn't quite connect to the gin. Burns to the ground. JDG trying to hold on to hope, but here is Zeus. Here is the top laner right as they need him to crash down the pull back on the infernal chains. Missing goes in, but he cannot find the edge. Ruler still stands, but he doesn't have the angle to attack. He doesn't have the angle into the fight. The Shroud will take Knight out to safety in T1. Stand strong despite the kill. Slower Baron normally, but they're so far ahead with the gym that it might not matter. TP from the Akali. Knight in the area now. T1 maybe just going to fish for the pick here. Already got one advantage. Tempered fade onto Kanavi is big. The lineup is there. Zayo's immediately going to look to knock him down. Can they find it? Kanavi now going right back into Zayo's owner in the area. Gig damage coming in for the Dark and Blade. Missing on the back trying to buy some space. But the shockwave is clean. And in comes the curtain call. And it's Zayus wreaking havoc on all of JDG to finish the fight. T1 looking to break over the base of JDG. That's a clean ace. That's got to be the game. I think they can push for the end. Halt construction on the Golden Road immediately. T1 have something to say about it. From start to finish, they have been in the driver's seat from the creative pathing in the early game of owner to shut seconds. down. 369. T1 have their eyes on the prize, and the prize alone. A spot in the finals, or at least one game closer. T1 showing up massive in this first game. Missing and Kanavi should not be enough. The Nexus lower and lower. T1 drawing first blood in this series. The no-brainer here. Zayas, I'm sure, is going to go to Feldy, even facing Cassante. But I think the main thing with Senna and Kalista is that their level one is absolutely nuts. And I'd expect this to go back to him. Oh. Him trying to stand between them and that huge achievement. Karia on the level one is going to lead the way with the Ash. Thing, taking so much damage. We're now Nine. continuing to free fire to Karia. Karia has to be careful. Will he be forced to flash over the wall for now? Standing strong. 369 on the backside has popped the Ghost. One Q stack going, but he can't really find an angle in. Has to be careful. Third stack. Missing incredibly low. Q through the creeps. Trying to pick up some souls. Owner getting lower and lower. 369 for Zeus off to the He's side. But Owner <laughs> getting burned down. Owner level two. He flashes in. They get first blood. It's traded back. Knight running for his life now. Shifts. We got farming simulator on the top <laughs> side. This game has it all. Now we got a Maokai gank in the bot lane. Ruler has to be careful. Just barely gets around the trap. But Owner stepping forward. The cleanse. Is it going to be enough? Walking in. One more out of the kick. We get another flash in. Carrier seals the deal. Missing. Trying to fire back with Carrier. seen the scene in Arcane, you know exactly how this goes. Flash in, hits him with the Fisticuffs double kill. Going over to From this Rift Herald, and already to a very rich Vi, they're gonna have to make a very big Vi ultimate plus Shockwave play to make this worthwhile. Also do note, and this is something in the See what they can do with it, because Kanavi's gonna help him get another turret plate. They're alting, no one there to body block for missing. That could be disastrous. Zayas behind, Zayas behind as well. Kanavi gonna be in trouble. Ruler now trying to run for his life, kiting this one out. Zayas keeping his eyes on the Callistas. Kanavi in the backside will find one. Knight with the shockwave at least managing to lock down the trade. Not looking to contest this one whatsoever. Do not have the vision, do not have the members in position. It will be a trade of the top lane tier one for the second Drake after last game. JDG putting more effort into getting resources into the back pocket of 369. Staying even in CS, but getting... Exactly. That setup does so much. When every brush has a sapling in it, <laughs> and then every piece of... One entrance left, meaning owner has perfect setup for an ulti to kick this fight off. Arrow going to connect first. Kanavi now locked up, brings it back into the rest of the team. Owner in the midst of everybody. And Zayo's now on the way in. Kanavi's still standing for now. Ruler pulling back his support. And now JDG looks to turn. Unstoppable is 369. They know that they've gotten what they came for. JDG now backing off. Do not want to overextend in the play. This is huge. The entire front line from D1 has been deleted. JDG, what a successful turnaround in that fight. It's Kanavi with the in-the-moment decision to turn around on owner and with the cooldowns down, no front line available. T1 isn't going to be able to get themselves to a soul point for this Infernal Soul, and JDG take control. Again here on the back of the play from Kanavi. I have to feel like that was a bit of a... The images. 
Thais using the Scryer's Gloom just to see if there's anything spawning him. Another aggressive engage here. Carry a locked up, though. Now he finds the Shockwave onto one. The TP now coming in. That's 369 to the backside. Looking to isolate the rest of the team. One kill already going down. Guma off the rift. Carrier running for his life. Kanavi continuing to step forward. Pullback coming in. JDG have brought T1 into the meat grinder. They are tearing through them effortlessly. But Faker now looking to fire back. Force that out and back off. TP coming. Zayas. Potential for a hero moment from Zayas from Carrier. Can they turn this one back? A lot of blinking health bars. A lot of cooldowns missing. Zayas no flash. Objective getting lower and lower. The Ren should just be able to finish it. They will grab the Baron, but Team One sticking around in the meantime, hoping to take the fight. Missing getting lower and lower, but he just got too much range, too many souls, doing too much damage. Faker goes in, but it gets absolutely Ooh. nothing. Already 2.5k in their favor. Expecting to break down some tier twos here, but again, a lot of for the split push here. Even though they're sacrificing turret pushes here to Baron, trying to get something back with those engages. Ace in the hole again, good damage on bounty there, while the rest of JDG pushed top. Should be pretty easy to tear through that tower at this stage of the game. So 369 there to pick up the CS, but won't be able to stop the tower take. JDG not afraid to walk up. 99 souls on missing, about to have 100 extra range here. So you can continue to rain down on JDG, clearly much more worried about losing control oh, on the Baron it. side. Kanavi going in, immediate start to the fight, Baker now locked up the pie! Oh. Does so much damage, Kanavi's early game. GA now coming out, T1, can they fight back? Zayus leaping and will get Kanavi in the end. One for one thus far, Zayus going back under the Azir Tower. The rest of T1 now need to barrel into the fight, but it's eyes on Knight. Can he get more damage down? 369 in the midst of everybody, oh. and he's going all out into the back line. Only the support left standing. Look at that. They're gonna push straight down mid. And with 280 carries, there is no way that the Nexus isn't gonna fall, and JDG come back with a resounding victory here in game number two. Game one about owners early pathing about the team play, but game two has been about Kanavi and the dominance of JDG in fights. But that said, as good as the fight was, as with the Baron buff, Baron empowered recalls will allow them to reset too. And you see T1 trying to make a rush towards coming into this series. Firing back certainly in game two, got more support, got more time alone to farm up, and you can see why it's considered the best team fighting top laner. It lives to body block Ace in the hole. And it's so hard here to kill 369. Guma doesn't have a Lord Dumb, so it's only Faker that maybe eventually can chew through. Air on to Kanavi. JDG back. But it is going to be the secure of all the neutral objectives. The two inhibitors down. JDG. Traps are there. 369 solo zoning off as meanwhile Kanavi just walks in with the Baron empowered minions just to threaten the Nexus. JDG, their chokehold on T1 and they're starting to squeeze T1. Not a lot of and not give an engage opportunity. Have to be a little bit careful about that one. The good news is but they behind, it. they're going for it. T1. Looking for the angle, missing could be in trouble here. Zayas on the backside looking to lock up, trying to take down a bit more damage. Infernal change not gonna be very effective. Knight going golden, has a bit more space. Kanavi now on the way in. In goes Kanavi, and that should just be it. T1 holding on for dear life. Faker on contestant on the backside. Gumichi going golden, but he is going to go down. The flash out will not be enough. GA up just in time to keep Kanavi standing. It's a clean ace in the base of T1 as JDG will move on and close out game two. It's a textbook. That's fine. Renekton, I'll take oh it. no. Oh boy. <laughs> the the, the, the red side advantage, oh no. I saw Dagda wince as soon as the Renekton hover. It's not came what you in. want from your Why? red side draft. <laughs> I mean, this They're is exactly snipe some minions to get level two. Trying as quickly as they can to lock down some of these two level two now going in. Kanavi, good damage down on Aguma Ruler, flashing out of safety, ticking and burning, but he oh, will stay standing holy. missing. Gets taken down. Wait for one more dragon at least, however. And right now, in terms of gold, JDG our City play has the uh -huh. XP advantage, missing trailing behind, but isn't gonna do a lot. Ruler, however, looking for the all in the 1v1. Kumuji, nice flash to get away from the piercing arrow and the three stacks. In the meantime, fight on the top side, 369 and Knight comboing together, catching out Baker, Kanavi getting one, and spin goes the monkey, the cyclone coming through just in time to keep the fight going. But Zeus is not down yet. Zeus looking to fire back. JDG could be in trouble, missing not firing forward. He's got level six, but does he have the man of the herald does drop in the end? Knight still standing, the flip back is clean. It's living, missing. He gets the kill, he gets the red buff carrier now running for his life. Flash out from Knight to safety. Still looking for a dive Five, here. No reinforcement for four, T1. Ulti up and available for the Wukong. 
Waiting, buying his time. Extra healing coming in, but Zeus is going to get a chance to use it, holding on for now, but immediately 369, finding the kill. Jay Looks like they don't want to do it without Kanavi uh, having his ultimate available for the Wukong, so they'll give up the objective at world so far. T1 are going to go for the dive. Kanavi's going to try and answer. TP now coming in, 369 staying alive for now. No dominance, the Gordrinker healing now coming in, but Zeus goes in just in time. Hostile takeover will not connect on the real Kanavi. They're still focusing on Zeus. The bailout will not be enough, and they'll kill Kanavi, not quite! Shattering Strike, a bit more damage. Five. Does not want to give over the 3-0 shutdown to the side of JDG, but JDG keeping the pressure up, keeping their eyes on the tower. will focus down that objective. Yep, the damage is enough for them to take down the tower. Kanavi invested his ult. This fight. Zeus on the flank, Faker over the wall. Objective getting lower and lower. The Weaver's wall coming out, isolating owner. Might go for the 50-50, but it's absolutely psycho flashes over the arrow. Faker oh! goes in! It's incredibly clean! JDG with the counter punch. Can they get anything back? Ruler untouched on the backside. Dragon still standing, but owner will take that away too. My god, what an engage from T1! Owner, you magnificent beast! What in the world? Makes the engage happen and he secures the dragon T1. Whoa! My favorite story about Owner 2 is that his name is actually. T1 regaining their composure after a pretty difficult early game. Knight will take a tower on the top side of the map. JDG holding on to a gold lead, but T1 feeling a lot more confident coming into the next dragon fight two and a half minutes away. Baron spawning in four seconds. Both sides take it pretty quick. Although the Lethality Varus actually puts a pretty big damper on any hopes JDG has for bursting it down. And... Oh, Zeus? Zeus? Going in on a ruler! That's ruler a cut spot. shopping! Oh, no! And he gets the dust blade! It's too damn clean! Kanavi trying to get something back, but it might be too little, too late. The flick back coming in. T1C, their window of opportunity. Berserk, both ADs just hitting each other. Knight now running. Focus on the objective. They have the Ren Smite combo. There is no reason they should give this up, but Kanavi might might just be able to take it. They're now trying to burst it down. The push over the wall doesn't connect, but it does not matter. T1 get the objective. Kanavi into the pen, and he will get taken down. 369 forced to run for the hills, and T1 have turned the game on its head. 369 running for his life, but Zeus is here. Look for the slice. Try to double dash through one. Not able to get the second, the Q3, the Darken Blade cutting down. But now Ruler, maybe he can get more in the fight. Ruler not running down Zeus. Owner now running. Ruler trying to make up for the previous mistake. JDG looking to take the fight. Owner overstaying, over commitment. Faker <laughs> hit by the arrow. Them. Missing's ult up and available. The Ash can find an angle, it can all fall apart. Zeus. Not out a bit here, forced to retreat. Dragon, objective, getting lower. Weaver's Wall bringing Knight into the fight. The entire team split. Arrow. Arrow going wide. That's massive. 369 going to the pit, trying to isolate and take out the jungler. T1 now need to turn. It's the hostile takeover. Connecting. Who can get the objective? And the steal coming through in time for Kanavi. But the fight is not done. Missing on the backside. Vulnerable on his lonesome. But JDG pulling back slowly. Surely they have no jungler, but they have the objective. T1 desperate to get more. They know they need to get something here. Pushing in. 369 over the wall. Knight continuing to poke. It's diligent. It is controlled. 369 now going in, forcing out the ultimate. Missing has been caught out. Missing will go down. The flash buying a bit more time, buying a bit more space. But he will get killed. It is only a matter of time. Zeus finishing up the fight at the end Fear of the shuffle. Absolutely is. Oh. Missing maybe now caught out again, just as you call it, Chronicler. But Kanavi, in the meantime, just trying to isolate Zeus. He needs to be careful, though, because the rest of T1 is now coming in. Missing running for the hills, but he surely will go down. Faker grabbing the kill. 369 being forced out of the pit. Locked up. Cloud Rift. Favor of T1. A bit of vision in the pit. Means JDG don't have to be too scared, but they might be fishing for the angle. Arrow going onto the jungler. Flick back is there. Looking to burst owner. Is that? Looking to taste him out of the equation. The pullback is there for Guma. Walk in. Oh, Zeus is on the watch. They can take him down. Zeus spotted 369 early ultimate to get the Fury up. Knight going over the wall. The flick back flashed away, but Zeus is certainly dead. The rest of T1 now trying to move into the jungle to compensate, but missing, zoning them off as best he can. Zeus, the blast cone, not enough. Back into the midst of the team. And the immediate win going to be there for JDG. We know how deadly this team is when they get their hands on a Baron. T1. But for the next two minutes and 20 seconds, it is JDG who are favored. Not a quite enough members in the mid lane to bully this tower down, but the empowered cannon minions will be more than enough. Nine on the bottom side, T1 just need to weather the storm. And the heal is good in lane, but once you get out, it is very tough not to have the cleanse. Zeus on the flank. Zeus on the side. TP coming in. Faker looking to make the play. Oh! He gets ruler. Owner goes in. And again, the combos are clean. The hostile takeover is damn. Well, hostile! T1 looking to leave no 
no survivors alive. He's excited that the entire team will get absolutely nothing. G1 what? in the clutch are too damn clean. Baker predicts Ruler's Flash. He gets there first. He catches him with the ultimate. It is a clean ace. The T1 is going to go up to match point. And it's Faker that sets it up. Owner that knocks it down. Just when you think the JDG are in total control, it wasn't even about the Cloud Soul. It was a single moment from T1 that gave them this game that set them up for a match point. Missing. He won't be enough. T1 going to break the base. T1 going to move on to match point. A clean fight out of nowhere secures them their second game. It's Gumayushi. Oh. Yeah, it's going to be the part instead. And let's not forget, it was this Zeri pick specifically that got Ruler his first LCK win back in 2022. It was when Zeri was for either top lane or here. So if we do get a fight for this dragon, or at least for the scuttle, it will be exclusively between four versus four. Owner going in, decent bit of poke damage. Just the EQ as well as the Iron Spike Whip. No level six again. Gumai six. Carry a flash to the wall, locking up Knight. It's a clean play, flag drag, flash forward. Committing on a Knight, the shockwave now coming in. Faker turning it right back. First blood. Everybody get now. That's a one hell of a magical journey. They'll get the kill back on the owner, but now they're in enemy territory. Cosmic binding is good, but here comes Kanavi. Locked up, nowhere for Faker to go. And JDG fire back, but Zeus on the top side. Right here beside him, level six. Around the corner for Carry, but still needs a bit more. Faker over the wall, though, has been locked up by the Infernal Chains above and below. Coming up for the Velvet. Faker in trouble. Not going to be able to get out of this one. The kill coming through for Konami. Razor, and then T1 might not be able to get the Dragon. We'll be getting that, though. Still think JDG is going to be very happy with how this early game has played. From Faker, unleashed just in time. Ruler slowed down just a bit. Objective getting lower and lower. Who's going to take it? Kanavi is going to grab it. Ulti coming out with the Shockwave on the backside to lock up. Gumiyushi, owner goes in, but he's not able to get much done. Kanavi dipping and diving. Zeus finally going to catch the jungler, but Ruler for now is still completely he's alive. untouched. Kanavi is living. The lightning crash comes out, and it is time for T1 to get the hell out of Dodge. Zeus has burned all of his resources, but continuing to step up. Will walk away, but JDG again, they get the Herald, they keep has the red buff yeah, ticking. The but there's no room for JDG to contest this one. The Herald gonna be immediately dropped mid. Karius still has the ulti to deny the charge, but JDG barreling in. A lot of members here might be able to break the tower anyway. Still, they're gonna break it. 369 caught up. Oh! Gumayushi can he go for the counter engage to flash out. Karius flashing forward, will not connect on the stun. Faker on the flank. Herald still there. Void Ramora is still there. Zayus finds the knock-up. He finds two, but there's no follow-up. He gets out the Lulu wall. Kanavi now stepping in. Knight there. Shock oh. comes back. The counter punch from JDG is too damn much, but T1 are still standing. T1 able to walk off himself. And then the shockwave, it looks like the fight is turned for JDG. But it's not enough for Zayus. Zayus new running has no going to let them. And even in some of these team fights here, Zayus in a position to create a lot more pressure then 369's Aatrox. Uh, he, this is a this is a defensive Aatrox. This is the Gore Drinker Sterix, yeah. tankier version of it, not the lethality. Baker continuing to walk up on the top side. And now Carrier caught out. No magical journey available. Ooh. Ruler walks in. Just gets a free miss here, but what is he gonna get done? Now trying to lock them up. Has flash out to safety. Owner buying a bit more space for Guma. But they're being forced to retreat. TP already used. Zayus waiting over the wall, trying to find the jungler. It feels personal how many times this man has managed to survive, but the fate is sealed of Kanavi. T1 managed to vision. They have zero way into the pit. They have zero tools to get on top of them quickly. T1 are determined to take the objective. It's getting lower and lower. There's a portal in the back of the pit. It's a goddamn good heist. T1. He has to be the difference maker here. A good shockwave. The Zeri follow-up could be enough for JDG to take the fight. But for now, they're focused on the objective. Owner zoning them away. 2.5k is getting lower and lower. They will burn it down. They get what they came for. T1, do they want to stay for the fight? Knockup coming through. Owner caught up. Flag and drag will take him out to safety. Kanavi burning on the back side. Owner still standing. With Ruler with the lightning crash now trying to go in. But goes gold and carry by a bit more space for the rest of the team. Arrows coming in from the bars. Ruler incredibly low, but maybe. There's just maybe he can turn it back. But Guma's still standing tall. He can't walk into rage. T1 starting to feel like an inevitability. Ruler Zeri. JDG in circles in these team fights. What? Taves flashing forward. Just trying to deny, just trying to zone them away. Blood in their eyes. They want everything. They'll break the tier one. And Zay is just like, I flash out. Just continues back up to the top side of the team fight. We're oh, ordering the lineup. Is perfect there. They've locked up Ruler. That's all that they need. Zay is now stepping in. Zay is desperate to get the Q3, but he cannot find the angle. Ruler now retreating. T1 
will they go for more? Flash in promoter. Kanabi now in trouble. Wild Club coming out. T1 find the angle. Barreling down the top side with the Baron. Ready to break the backs of JDG. The magical journey for T1 coming through. And perhaps the golden road coming to it. Knight locked up. Knight is locked. The crown will not stop that. And he's only a knight. Faker knocking him down. Unstoppable. Stronger and stronger. The attack speed bar is starting to hit like a truck. Shredding through the tower slowly but surely. Faker on the flank. And the big thing is, they can't afford to give up the soul. Guma clearing the mid wave. T1 a bit split. Eyes on Ruler. Eyes on the shockwave of Knight. Kanavi stepping in. Flash to the side from Faker. Ooh. At the cost of very Kanavi. little. Owner walking more, but Faker now dominating. Kanavi! A massive mistake. Carry it now going in. The Ruler's untouched. Goes golden and now Ruler. Looking to take over the fight. Ruler still standing. Guma still standing. Guma firing back. Ruler goes down. Guma's just better. Will come for the final spot. T1 will get the Baron. They will get the split push. They've got JDG on the ropes. Ruler, I won't. I will crush him. And he just did. And now, crucially, Ruler doesn't have his flesh available. Knight doesn't have his flesh available. Just shy of Death Cap. No real power there for the Orianna. Such a defensive build. I don't know if they're gonna have the damage, particularly with Ocean Soul. Ocean Soul Zayas on the side lane can't be stopped. He can be slowed, but he cannot be stopped without more members there. 369 will not be enough. JDG know that that's a losing prospect on the top side, so instead they will focus on the bottom side, but this inhibitor will be a continuous weak point. 369 finding the lockup. Zayas snapping back on the Soul Unbound. We'll just break the inhibitor. He knows what he's here for. It is slow, it is controlled, it is diligence. The hype moment over for a moment as Kanavi weaves in and out of the exchange, looking for a bit of redemption for himself. T1. Explosive fight after explosive fight has put them in a position to close this out cleanly, clinically. Death by a thousand cuts for JDG. So much riding on these last minutes. JDG trying to defend their golden road as it crumbles before them. T1, the onslaught will not stop. Third inhibitor goes down. T1 pushing in. They're not done. They got the Baron still. 36 seconds. 5K Red Bull Baron power play backing them up. Zayas finding an initial knockup, just a bit of poke. A single misstep from JDG and T1 can instantly fully commit to the fight. It's the shockwave. Kanavi getting lower and lower, falling apart under the pressure. JDG's hope dwindling. They've taken down BLG. They've taken down LNG. It is not LPL versus LCK. Versus the LPL, and they like those odds as they move to finals. Unmatched, what? truly. Yeah. I mean, you can't. You can feel it in the stadium. All of Korea behind T1. It's crazy. It's vibrating in here. Yeah. And we're gearing up for an interview in a few moments, but in the meantime, I mean, just appreciating this moment that again, we were so close to four LPL teams. T1 defied <laughs> expectations. Baker said, not in my house. Not in my house. <laughs> LNG, the favorites in that series. T1 struck them down pretty effortlessly, showing us a new meta, built on the backs of some pre earlier performances in the tournament. And then in this game against JDG, even in the mid to late game fights, we saw them show up clutch to bring it home for Korea and for T1 fans everywhere. It's a culmination as well of the development that this uh, that this roster has seen over the last two years. One of their biggest criticisms, and I, I don't think it's fair to just point fingers at Draft. I think that there is so much more that goes into a game of League of Legends, but it's undeniable that T1 have not been able in crucial games consistently to find the angles. And whether they are able to actually make it happen until the end, that remains to be seen. But at least up until this point, they are very aware that meta read is everything. And it feels like it's also one of the big advantages they had today. This Yone coming out, even though we've seen Zayas play it before, I think was absolutely pivotal. And I think the other person that you saw in the previous highlight that I, I just want to continue to draw more attention to, not as if he's not going to be basked in so much praise, but is Guma. Oh, yeah. You know, this is a guy who started his career talking a lot of smack and not being able to back it up. Now he's regained that confidence to talk trash heading into a series and to back it up. We saw it against Gala, the 1v1 in bot lane of Felius versus Vars. We saw it in that fight as well, taking out Zeri. Vars, a powerful champion, certainly, but just playing it to perfection in those final moments.
It was perfect. Ruler literally flashed into his face. He, he stood his ground and popped him. Yeah. Massive, massive stuff for this T1 team. The smiles on their faces. And you know they truly appreciate it because they have been so close and not been able to complete. Yeah. Here we go. And that's Take enough from us. Let's send it over to the winner's interview. Guys, we are here joined by Zeus, owner on the side of T1 after taking down JDG in the semifinals match. Congratulations. Zeus, you made it back to World's final, Finals one more time. How do you feel? Last year, you know, I experienced a very heartbreaking loss, and I think I can make it up for it this year, so I'm really happy. What about you, owner, you know? ADG is not an easy opponent. How do you feel about this one today? Everyone, you know, talked about how strong they are. So I was a little bit nervous going into the series as well. I'm so happy that we were able to actually pull off the performance that we were looking forward to. And I'm happy with our performance in general. So I'm just so glad at the moment. Zeus, you used to play together with Kanavi Ruler for the Asian Games. Why did you focus the most? They were having a great performance so far, so I was really afraid going up against them today. But I don't know. I just did my best, and I'm so happy that we won. Owner, today, you were the one opening team fights every single time. Is there any goal you have in mind right now? I think so far I played a very supported pick, the chess rail, you know. I kind of got sick of it. So maybe at finals, I might be able to play something different, something better. Um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the right moment, but I want to say rail is also a really good pick. Zeus, now you are going up against Weibo Gaming, waiting for you at finals. What are you looking forward to the most, going up against the Shy on the top lane? Oh. We actually had a jersey exchange together, so I told him, let's all survive until the very end so that we can meet at a greater stage. But at that time, not many people thought us or Weibo Gaming to be this strong. So it feels you know, amazing that we made it so far. We made it to finals together. And I want to say, I think Deshai is an excellent player. So it's going to be a challenge for me. That is the mindset that I want to keep in mind. This finals will be T1's sixth world finals. What is your mindset heading into the finals this year? Just like Zeus mentioned, I am so glad that we got another chance this year. We will not let our guards down because I think Weibo is also a very strong team. I hope we can pull up the same performance that we did today in order to win it all. What about Zeus? Last year, around this time, after finals, world's finals, I left so much regrets. This time, I want to make sure that I will no regrets behind. That was Zeus' owner from T1. And I'm going to pass it back to the analyst desk. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wonderful. Um, I love kind of the final question, and I also love uh, the reactions from both Zeus and Owner. It's also something that we see in... Oh. Gesture <laughs> <Pastor> 2. 